Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse today, Friday, August 19th, 2022. Yesterday we covered a sentencing in the Rhino Horn case that we've covered for a long time. Mr. Chroma, uh, who's already spent 42 months in jail, he was, he was extradited in. He is, according to the government, responsible for the death of 100 elephants and 35 rhinos for their various horns and tusks. He was sentenced to 63 months, which basically means he's going to serve 21 more and then be uh, extradited back, not extradited, deported. He was extradited in, and he'll be deported back to either Liberia or Uganda. He doesn't seem happy about it. The courtroom was full of his supporters, Inner City Press. The only media there wrote the story. You can check it out. Later in the day, k and Gates lawyer, or former lawyer, Welly Dennis, appeared by Zoom from Florida with his mother on the bed behind him. You can read that story here as well. Uh, a man who had attacked ABC News in 1983, taken a hostage and asked to go on the air, escaped 39 years later from his mental hospital, St. Elizabeth's, in Washington, D.C., and was arrested on the Upper West Side. He was, he was presented in magistrate's court, and we were there. He's been sent back to St. Elizabeth's. Now, Alec Dupuy, a, uh, I don't know how to characterize him, a sort of a jet-setting young gentleman who killed somebody with fentanyl, got a guilty, got a plea where it said that the, his partner, his unindicted or his co-conspirator, is the one that actually gave the pill. Still, he might serve quite a bit of time. We wrote about that, and we're, we're interested in plea agreements. We, in fact, got to the credit of, of the spokesman over there for MDNY a plea deal. We're looking into this idea of the safety valve, when it's acknowledged, when it's not acknowledged. And it's, we hope to have a new approach starting Monday to the EDNY, but the project will continue. UN, the project continues for real, because even on an issue as high profile as Ukraine, they continue to fail. They dress it up, of course. Guterres said it wouldn't happen. Then he said it hadn't happened. Then he told people to not say it happened. Now he blathered his way in Odessa, talking only about wheat. We were promised a, a readout uh, uh, of his Q&A. An hour later, there's nothing. They take the money and they waste it. The spokesman answers no questions. They're corrupt, and we demand re-entry.